so I know some of you think I'm nuts. So I figured I might as well continue it on and make all of you realize that I am nuts. <laughs> I, I have all these antennas. I went yesterday and picked up another 102, two um, four-foot fiberglass whips, and some air mount brackets. What I'm going to do is make a co-phased ground plane. It'll be 102-inch whip on each end of this boom pole. That pole is 10 feet long. There will be about 9 foot 4 in between the whips. What's going to be is the ground plane radials are going to get mounted in those holes. So that will put them at a uh, just under 45 degree angle. Probably be somewhere around 43. And then the mirror mount bracket will go in between, obviously, with the antenna pointing up. And that pole is upside down at the moment. So 102 inch whip will go down, and there will be two ground plane radials coming off the pipe going down at a 45. I made up my bracket to convert the horizontal boom so that it can mount on a vertical pole. <laughs> Can any of you guess what that plate came from before I tell you? It was welded to the bottom side of a garden tractor seat. This was the top of it, and it sat on the spring for the seat. But it's a good thick piece of steel, and <laughs> it was the right dimensions. So I drilled it and put a bunch of U-bolts on it so that I can mount it right to the poles. All right, I'm going to get to uh, assembling this thing. I'll bring it back when I have it partially together. Or maybe when it's all together if I get carried away. So you may be wondering, how do you get the nut on the back side of that one? When it's so far away, you can't put your finger or anything in there. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. But the way I'm doing it, I have a piece of copper wire wrapped around the nut and squeezed on it it stays in there pretty good and when you start tightening this because of the curve of the pipe it will hold that nut right in place and then once it's tight you just tug hard on this wire and it'll unwind from that and fall right out of there one ends together well almost I don't have the mirror mount bracket on there yet but the ground plane radials are on there. Now I just got to go do the other end. At my wife's request, Barbara said that I should take a video of the test assembly. Nothing is tightened up yet. It's just put together. And I had the coily whips on there just for trial purposes because the 102s will hit the ceiling. But these will just clear. Is about a half an inch above those and the radials are just about on the floor because as you see this is floating I have it strung up to uh, the ceiling up there the ground plane radials came out fantastic and they do look to be 42 43 degrees so it's going to be a dual directional ground plane co-phased oh boy Gums, let me curious. Okay, out of the way. I was trying to do something outside earlier. And she was in and out of my feet like crazy. Boy. Not as heavy as I thought it would be. 
All right, check that thing out. I have it on a, a temporary pole. It's eight feet off the ground. And I have it all set up. Let me bring you in close and I'll show you exactly how this thing went together. As you see, I have my step ladder here so I can get up close and show you and tell you all about it. All right, first we have the, the bracket that I told you I made. And it worked out really well. We're square. <laughs> the boom pole is perpendicular to the mast. We have square angles on both sides of it. Let's go over here. You can see, as I, you probably saw that already when it was set up in the shop a little bit. I'm not sure if I actually took video of that or not. But this is how it, it went, went together. Mirror mount brackets. Don't do this at home, folks. Do not stand on or above this step. <laughs> I put elbows on it so that the coax wasn't going straight down and then bending over to be attached to the mast. I did that on both ends. I have some temporary strings here so that I can turn the antenna from my garage window. And I can turn it and knock myself off the ladder too. I don't know, for any of you that have the eye, you can see that those ground plane radials are at about 42 degree angle. Which 42 degrees is the absolute perfect for ground plane radials. It will give you a, a better resistance. It will give you a closer to the 50 ohm. And the 102 whip going way up there. Way up there. Way up there. Get you in close. Put that on close up so you can see all of this. It came out really, really well. I'm really pleased. Got wind noise. Oh, I hope that wind noise isn't bothering you guys. Look at that. Ain't she a beauty? Whoo-wee. What do you think, Barb? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now remember, those two strings that are coming off it, they're not going to stay on there. <laughs> that was just temporary going into the window of my garage just so that I can turn this from inside the garage. Alright, what do you say we go inside, check this thing out, see what the SWR is and see what we can get for any chatter on the radio. Alright, let's, let's go do that now. So I currently have the uh, my homemade co-phased ground plane. It's connected to the President Adams. And let me show you. Can't move you right in front of the meter because I'm getting a, a glare from the sun. Let's put this on calibrate. And I'll key the mic. Set that meter. And now I'm going to put it on SWR. You ready for this? Did you see it move at all? It moves a tiny bit. All right, now you ready for the real test? Let's turn the box on. It's on high. And we'll go back over here. First, I need to turn this way down because we're throwing a whole lot more power to it. Let's put it on calibrate. I'll key up that microphone. Bring it over to the set position. All right, you ready? Look at that, less than 1.1 to 1. How fantastic is that? With the atoms and the box on. I have my Washington connected to a switch box. See it right there? And on that switch box, I have my three element Yagi connected to it, and I have that co phased ground plane connected to it. 
And I just heard uh, 429 Randy in Florida. He was on channel 39, and I flipped back and forth from antenna to antenna. Let me show you that now and show you the differences <laughs> between the two antennas. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, on the co-phase ground plane enjoy having the seasons. and that's the three element it's Yagi here. It's, uh, gotten, uh, significantly look at that more just one season. Uh, we they both pointed right at him that's the, the uh, co-phase ground plane we gotta wait for him to talk again we can't hear the other person he's talking to on either antenna yeah, yeah, that's I'm the myself, ground plane but, uh, that's the Yagi. Uh, moving, uh, moving back uh, up towards Georgia, North Carolina as well. That's on the so co-phase ground more, plane. Uh, hunting there in the backyard, That's though, on the uh, three element Yagi. Too damn hot, believe it or not. Too damn hot there in the summer. Can you believe I that? I visited my friend uh, a couple of years back there. Not much June, of a difference. The That's the three June, element Yagi. Degrees. Oh, and he stopped talking again. We're going to flip back. I'm on the co-phase ground plane now. Let's see if he talks again. Uh, not much difference in clarity, signal strength. Uh, <laughs> and that co-phase ground plane is only 8 feet off the ground. All right, we ready for up, up, and away, are we? As I set those up so that I can just move the clamp up and down to take this up and down. Nice. Extra precautions, make sure it stays rigid, safe, and secure. Oh, look at that thing of beauty right there.
I may be biased, but I still think my husband makes the best antennas. I always watch your stuff look inside, man. <laughs> hey, more turkey. I'm always on YouTube, man. And I know you're always testing antennas. Always. I always. I, hey, even though I, I'm going to subscribe. Hey, more junkie. I'm going to subscribe to your channel. I always watch your channel. Your channel. And I see you're always testing something new. <laughs> Everything you have posted, man. Everything I've watched. I think the last time I've watched, you were testing two antennas. Two antennas you, you were testing the last time. <laughs> yeah. But I always watch your channel, man. Always. Roger. Copy that. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that. Every view counts, you know. It helps that channel grow, and I'm glad you're going to hit that subscribe button. Welcome aboard. I'm glad to have you in here with us. Yeah, I'm on a, a yet again another new antenna. A uh, brand new one. None of my viewers even know about it yet. It's a uh, a brandy spanking new one. Just went up yesterday. <laughs> so, have you posted uh, have you posted any video uh, on that antenna? Have you posted? Remember, I watch actually everything, you know, <laughs> actually everything I watch. Uh, have you posted that one as yet? No, not yet. I still have to make the video. It probably won't be up until probably Saturday morning. But Saturday morning, there's going to be a brand new antenna video. This is uh, kind of a an interesting twist on something I tried a month ago. I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm going to wait and let you see the video. Let you see for yourself what I'm talking to you on right now. So the antenna ended up working out fantastic. Uh, I am hearing locals that I've never heard before. There are locals that are hearing me now that have never heard me before. And yesterday, I talked to a gentleman that calls himself Butterfingers. He's in Columbia. And Columbia, South Carolina is about 35 miles away from me. He was talking to me on a, <laughs> a homemade ground plane, a PVC and wire ground plane that he modeled after uh, one of my antennas that I've built and made a video of. So I got to talk to him on his brand new homemade uh, ground plane with my brand new co-phase ground plane. It, it seems to really be working well. Uh, most of the locals that I talk to on a regular basis have told me that I'm giving them a, a louder and cleaner signal and a stronger signal. So I couldn't be happier with this. It works great for skip and local. The three element Yagi that I had, fantastic for skip, absolutely terrible for local. So I wanted something that was still directional and something that would still be good at both. It's not going to be great at either one but it's gonna be really good at both. All right guys, I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.